Oh, Hi, everyone. I'm Miss Laura. And I'm Miss Linda. Hey, Ollie. Who loves me? Jesus loves you, Miss Laura. Ollie, who does Jesus love me? Yes, Miss Linda. Jesus loves you, too. Jesus loves all of us, no matter what. Even when you do something wrong, Jesus loves and forgives you. Hey, that's the story for today, the true Bible story, the thankful woman. Jesus forgives a woman when she makes a poor choice and loves her. And that is a really good lesson for all of us to say sorry when we make mm -hmm. a poor choice and to say, that's okay, I forgive you when someone says they're sorry to us. Hey, Miss Linda. Yes? Since it's the last week of the month, do you want to leave the Bible verse today? Oh, I do. It's a really good one. Everybody stand All up. Because right. we're going to spin and oh, use right our there. new sign, friend, where you take your fingers and you hook them together. This is friend. I'll uh, do it this way. Okay. But I'm left handed. That's all right. Good. A friend <laughs> loves at all. <laughs> Proverbs 17, 17. All right, we got to go the other way because I get a little dizzy. <laughs> a friend loves at all times. Proverbs 17, 17. Oh, that's one of my favorites That so was far. really good. You did a good a job, Miss Linda. Thank you. They did, too. They did, too. Well, Miss Linda. Yes. You know, in the video, Justin... <clears throat> Talking about oh, cupcakes. Yeah, the mailman, the postal carrier. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I got a little, I got a little hungry. <gasps> yeah. So I got us a treat. <gasps> treats. You guys, treats. I'm very excited. What's in the bag? I'm so excited. It's kind of stuck. <gasps> oh my goodness. Ortho <gasps> That's treat. unexpected kindness from Miss Laura. It's beautiful. <gasps> oh my goodness. Yum. All right, well, I'm going to have a little bite of this, which will give me a sugar boost, and then we're going to see you on Zoom. <laughs> mm. Oh, that looks yummo. Mm, chocolate covered okay. strawberry. All right. Mm. And remember, Jesus, Jesus loves you. <laughs> and don't eat, don't talk with your mouth full. And don't talk with your mouth full. <laughs> we'll see you on Zoom. See you in a minute, guys. <laughs> Bye. Bye.
playing in the clubhouse sandbox. I brought some fun new toys for us to play with today. Do you know what this is? It's called a sifter. See, these holes will let the sand through, but not big things. Let's see if there's anything bigger than sand in this bucket. sand in my bucket. There's some seashells, like at the beach. I'm going to save these to show to my friends later. Do you know what this is? It's called a funnel. You can pour things through it like this. I know. Let's see if we can fill the bottle of sand using the funnel. I'll just put it right here. Mess. Zoe's gonna be so mad at me. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hi there, Poppy. Who? Who? Is something the matter with you? Hey, Ollie. I was having so much fun with my sand toys, but then I made a big mess. Zoe loves this sandbox so much. She's gonna be really mad at me. I understand how you feel. It's true. I have the perfect story for you. Just listen to this. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. Oh, hey friends. I'm Justin the Mailman with lots of letters for the neighborhood. But this one is actually from me to my friend Aisha. I dropped some of her cupcakes the other day, so I wrote her an I'm sorry card. I think she'll forgive me because she's always been my friend no matter what. Which reminds me of our story today. Are you ready for it? I'll just put the story mail in the mailbox and... Today's true story from the Bible begins with a special dinner for Jesus. As Jesus and the people were eating and talking, a woman who was not invited walked in, carrying a bottle of perfume. Now, this woman had made a lot of bad choices, so the people at the dinner did not think they would see her there. Look, what is she doing? She's sitting at Jesus' feet and She's crying. She's crying because Jesus had forgiven her for making bad choices. She knows Jesus loves her no matter what. The woman was so thankful Jesus loved her. She wanted to do something special for him. So she started to wash his feet. The woman washed Jesus' feet with her tears and dried them with her hair. Then she poured perfume on his feet. The people at the party thought Jesus should stay away from her. You don't know what she's done, they said. But Jesus just smiled. Because Jesus did know. Jesus knew everything the woman had done. And he could see how sorry she was and how much she loved him. 
So Jesus told her, woman, you are forgiven. Now go in peace. Friends, there is absolutely nothing you could ever do to make Jesus stop loving you. He loves you no matter what. Jesus loves you and he wants to be your friend forever. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who loves you? Jesus loves me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who loves you? Jesus loves me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. I'll see you next time. So there's your story. It's all true. The woman was thankful for Jesus, and he showed he loved her too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, what a great story. The woman put perfume on Jesus' feet to show him that she was thankful for him. Jesus loved the woman no matter what, and Jesus loves us no matter what too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it! Good! And you know what? Jesus loves me even when I make a mess. I'm going to clean this up and tell my friends that I'm sorry for spilling the sand. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! A friend loves at all times. Proverbs 17:17. 17, 17. A friend loves at all times. Proverbs 17:17. 17, 17.